So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now I'm going to keep it completely straight with you guys. I really can't be bothered to post a video today, but I'm going to do it anyway uh, because you guys love your tactics and that is absolutely fine. But I've just got so many other things I'd rather do today. You know, I want to play Fortnite, I want to play the club's playoffs. I just really want to go and have some fun. I haven't really felt like that in a while. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough of all that waffling. Today we've got some 4-3-2-1 tactics for you and uh, yeah, I hope you like them. Uh, let's get into it guys. If you guys want coins for FC24, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're very fast, they're very cheap, they're very reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. Alright then guys, so starting off with the tactics. I'm sorry if you hear fireworks in the back. There's a lot of people setting them off in the UK right now because we're near bonfire night. Very annoying. I have a dog downstairs. He's absolutely terrified. So uh, yeah, that's annoying. But uh, yeah, starting off with the tactics. Tactics. Keep waffling today. Uh, defensive style, we have this on balanced. Gives you the best control over your defense. So when you want to be aggressive towards your opponent, you can do that. And then when you want to drop back, be a little bit more passive, you can also do that. So it gives you the perfect balance, which is really, really useful. And when it comes to applying pressure in this game, you don't actually have to use any of these pressure tactics. We'll get onto something in a moment which is much better. Uh, moving on to the defensive width, guys. Something I've tried telling people a lot recently is it's better to have a more narrow width in this game. Even though people are always going for those cutbacks and wide plays, they're pretty unstoppable. If somebody is like sir, on doing something like that, cutting back all the time, uh, it's pretty inevitable that they're going to do it anyway, if you get what I mean. So it's better to have at least a nice, narrow and compact defense so you can at least be nice and congested in the middle and stop all of those attacks. And when somebody wants to go for a cutback, you can still reach out to the wing anyway. Uh, moving on to the depth, guys. This is the thing that I was on about when it comes to pressure in this game. On the new gen versions of the game, if you have your depth on 71 or higher, you'll get this automatic press from the AI. It's a very strong press, a very overpowered press, uh, and it basically requires you to do nothing a lot of the time. The game will just press for you and mark all all of your opponents so very useful very overpowered uh, the thing which makes this so overpowered actually is the fact that compared to the pressure tactics uh, if you have your depth on 71 you don't actually get a stamina drain so your players will still have like loads of energy at the end of the game so you can press all game like a madman and not really like lose as a re like lose any stamina as a result so 71 depth is the way to go if you're on old gen though uh, this doesn't work so go for something like 60 and you will be fine uh, for the build up play guys I have this on balance uh, I like balance because it lets you pick and choose when and where you use each form of build up so if you want to play slowly you can do that and then if you want to speed up and play a little bit faster you can also do that so it does give you the most variety when you are building up which is why I do like it so much now moving on to chance creation guys this one is very important and it is direct passing now the reason direct passing is so important is because a lot of people will park the bus in this game so when your opponent is camped in his box with all of his defensive players what direct passing will do is commit your attackers so they're always making these runs They'll push very far into your opponent's box, and then when the opponent's defenders follows those attackers, the attackers will then track back so you can cut back to them. That is the matter of this game. Uh, very boring, but very necessary. It's the only way to beat that part of the bus. Uh, for the attacking width, guys, I have this on 40. This is because I like mine to be kind of balanced. I don't want my attacking width to be crazy wide because it plays out more like a 4-3-3, and I also don't want to have it crazy narrow because then my players are just way too close together. So 40 width is great. Uh, for players in box guys I have this on six this is so we can get a few players into the box to finish off our chances uh, but the uh, the chance of counter attacks is pretty minimal and uh, for corners and free kicks I have these both on two this is a preference thing yet again I would like to apologize for those fireworks they've started at the complete wrong time sorry to interrupt the video guys but I have noticed around 90% of you that watch the content are not subscribed so if you are finding any of these videos helpful please be sure to hit that subscribe button as it does help me out massively also don't forget to drop the video a like as well and with all that aside guys let's get back to the video all right then guys think the fireworks have stopped for a minute uh, touch wood uh, so for the player instructions on the striker I have him on stay central and get him behind we have him on stay central so we always have like a focal point up top somebody that is in the middle somebody that will always finish off our chances we also have this player on getting behind so he does look to utilize his pace to get in behind your opponent's defense.
defensive line. This instruction is especially effective this year because everybody is running those high defensive lines. So getting behind, very important yet again this year. Now moving on to the left forward guys on the instructions for this player. We have him on getting behind for the same reasons as the striker. We do want him to utilize his pace and get in behind those defensive lines. But even more importantly, we actually have this player on comeback on defense. Now the reason this is important in terms of the meta of this game is because comeback on defense will make this team defend in like a 4-4-2 shape. Now the reason this is so important is because the 4-4-2 gives you really good coverage of both the narrow and the wide areas, meaning it's more difficult for your opponent to attack you as a whole. So this player on comeback on defense will come back to defend as a left midfielder in the 4-4-2 shape. Now moving on to the right forward guys, I just have this player on get in behind. Again, this is for the same reasons as the striker and the other forward. We want him to get in behind the opposition defense uh, and create a lot of chances. We don't actually have to put this player on comeback on defense though because we've already got the left forward coming back to make that midfield four. Now moving on to the left centre mid guys, I use a more box to box style player in this position. So on this player we have him on the default settings and then cover centre. We leave him on the default settings because he is a box to box player so we don't just want to restrict him to defending all the time. We kind of want him to attack as well. So we kind of just leave him on the default settings so we can do a bit of everything. The only important thing is that he is on cover centre so he does defend those central areas which is very important. Now moving on to this middle centre mid guys, I use a more defensive minded player. This this is a position where you'd want somebody to have like a medium high work rate if you can so you get that maximum contribution in the defense and they're not too bothered about going forward so on this player stay back while attacking and cover center stay back while attacking pretty self-explanatory we don't want this player going forward he is more defensive so we want him to stay back and then cover center for the same reason as the other center mid we want him to cover those central areas now moving on to the right center mid guys because i said this team defends in a 4-4-2 shape you don't actually have to use a defensive minded center mid in this position you can actually use an attacker because when we don't have the ball this player will defend as a right midfielder so the defensive stats are really not that important so somebody that is perfect in this role is somebody like Griezmann somebody that has a high high work rate so they will attack and defend and basically do a bit of everything if you want you can put them on get forward and get into the box for cross but I've just been experimenting with him on balanced balanced and because Griezmann's attacking AI is really good, it seems to be okay, but you can just put them on get forward, get into the box cross, and don't forget the cover wing instruction, which is very important, guys. Now, moving on to the fullbacks on your more attacking minded fullback, because this is a more narrow formation, you want to have one fullback on balanced attack and overlap. This is so you can always get a wider angle when you are attacking and stretch out your opponent's defense. This is very important because if you're always attacking too narrow, there is no reason for your opponent's defense to spread out but if you have this wider option it forces that defensive line apart and then makes more space for the other players through the middle as well so balanced overlap on this player to give you that wider option and make it easier to attack and then for the other fullback I suggest stay back while attacking and overlap this is so you always have at least three defenders back at a time but when you send him on the run forward he'll make the overlapping runs the same way the other fullback does as for the two center backs guys you want to leave them alone and the keeper if you want comes across crosses and sweep a keeper but it doesn't really matter but yeah guys they're my tactics for the 4321. if you have enjoyed or found this useful please be sure to drop this a like sub to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications and with all that aside guys I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you all in the next one peace